about the geometric sequence formula, focusing more on finding the first term of a geometric sequence. What is a geometric sequence? Remember that in our previous discussion, geometric sequence is a sequence with a common ratio. And you get this by dividing two consecutive terms. How do we solve for the first term of a geometric sequence? Now you have two options. First is to divide the given term using the common ratio until you reach the first term. Second, by using the geometric sequence formula. Example number one. What is the first term of the geometric sequence? Blank, blank, 16, 32. Now notice that in this given problem, we have two consecutive terms. So pag may consecutive terms tayo, mas madali na lang natin kunin ang common ratio. So, 32 divided by 16 is equal to 2. So, gamit yung common ratio na 2, paulit-ulit lang natin i-divide yan para makakukuha natin yung value ng ating first term. So, 16 divided by 2 will give us 8. And then, 8 divided by 2 will give us 4. Let's have up for ex example number 2. What is the first term of the geometric sequence? Blank, 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 135, 405. Now, this is similar to problem number one. All we need to do is to divide these two terms, these two consecutive terms, to find the common ratio that's equal to 3. And then, yung value ng 3 na yan, ng ating common ratio, yun ang paulit-ulit pa natin gagamitin pang divide. So, 135 divided by 3 will give us 45. 45 divided by 3 is 15, and 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Example number 3. What is the first term of the geometric sequence? Blank, 6, blank, blank, 48. Now notice na dito sa ating given problem, wala tayong consecutive term. So hindi natin pwedeng kunin yung common ratio gamit yung pagdi-divide ng two consecutive terms. So, what we can do is to use the formula. Since ang available lang natin ay a sub 2 at a sub 5, let's substitute yung ating a sub 2. Gagawin natin siya ang a sub 1 muna for the meantime. And then, our a sub 5 is a sub 4. Paano nangyari yun? So, so, kung si 6 ang ating first term, bibilang ka na lang. So, a sub 1, a sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4, C 48. So, using this new given names or given terms, okay, substitute natin siya dun sa formula. So, you have A sub N is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. Okay, so, saan ang galing yung 4 dito? So, 4 is from the subscript of A. So, ang A sub 4 natin is equal to 48. Ang A sub 1 is equal to 6. And then, R raised to 3. Okay, let's divide both sides by 6 para matanggal yung number beside R cube. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 8 is equal to R cube. Then, let's remove the exponent 3 by getting the cube root of both sides. So, cube root of 8 is equal to cube root of R cube. Okay, remember that 8 here is also equal to 2 cube. So, kailangan natin maging magkapareho ang index at saka ang ating exponent para mas madaling i-cancel yung ating um, radicals. Okay? So, may iwan na lang is equal to 2. So, in the same problem, what's the first term of the geometric sequence? So, knowing that your common ratio is equal to 2, so, 6, all you need to do is to divide 6 by our common ratio. So, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So, therefore, our first term is 3. Okay, next, problem number 4. What is the first term of a geometric sequence with 24 as the fourth term 
and 96 as the 6th term. So, kung titignan natin yung sequence, meron lang tayong 24, that's our 4th term, and 96, our 6th term. So, dito, pag gumamit tayo ng formula, wala tayong 1st term, at saka wala tayong last term. But what we can do is, we will use a sub 4 as our first term. Tapos bibilangin mo na lang hanggang sa 96. So your 96 is a sub 3. So these are the details that we will use in the formula. Okay, so you have a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to 3 minus 1. And then your 3 came from the subscript of a here, your term position. Substitute the values. 96 is equal to 24 times r squared. Divide both sides by 24. Okay, so, matitira na lang ay 4 is equal to r squared. So, to remove the exponent 2, let's get the square root of both sides. So, get the square root of 4 is equal to the square root of r squared. So, yung 4, remember, it's equal to 2 squared. So, pwede natin palitan. Then, we can cancel of the index and then the exponent. Index and then the exponent. So, matitira na lang is 2 is equal to R. So, ang common ratio natin dito is... Now, balik tayo dun sa problem number 4. This is our A sub 4 and our A sub 6. So, what we can do is, using the common ratio na 2, divide na lang natin repeatedly by 2 para mas madali na lang. So, 24 divided by 2 will give us 12. And then, 12 divide that by 2, 6. Then, 6 divide by 2 using the common ratio. Ang answer natin is 3. So, our first term is 3. Okay, problem number 5. What is the first term of a geometric sequence with a sub 8 equal to 78,208 and 2 as our common ratio? So, binigay lang dito is the 8th term and 2 as our common ratio. So, dito, we, we can only use the formula. So, how do we use it? How do we use the formula? So, remember that this is our formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, a sub 8 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to 8 minus 1. So, yung 8 natin galing sa subscript ng 8, sa our term position. So, substitute natin yung values. So, meron lang tayong a sub 8, 78,208. Common ratio natin is 2. And then, yung 8 minus 7 is equal to 7. Okay, what's our next step? So, let's look for the value of 2 raised to 7. So, in your calculators, all you need to do is to press 2. And then, meron dyang button na x raised to y. Tapos, you press 7 and then the equal sign. So, our value is um, 128. Okay, next step is to divide both sides by 128. Then the value of our first term is 611. Okay, let's go to our last example. Number 6. What is the first term of a geometric sequence with a sub 5 equal to 6? and 1 half as the common ratio. So, similar to sa problem number 5. Only difference is, okay, ang ating common ratio dito ay fraction. Okay? Then, our a sub 5 is equal to 6. So, let's use this information to solve yung ating problem. Okay. So, in the formula, a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to 5 minus 1. So, substitute lang natin yung values. So, ano yung a sub 5? Yung a sub 1, hindi pa natin alam. We know the common ratio is 1 half. And then, yung 5 dito ay galing sa ating subscript ng A. So, substitute the values. a sub 5 is 6. First term, hindi natin alam. 
our common ratio is 1 half raised to 4. Okay, next step is to solve yung in nasa loob ng parenthesis and its exponent. So you have 6 is equal to e sub 1 times 1 over 16. So paano siya naging 1 over 16? Now remember kapag meron sa loss of exponent natin, when we're dealing with a fraction, tapos meron silang exponent, yung numerator, magkakaroon niya ng, i-distribute mo yung kanilang exponent. Okay, so 1 raised to 4, 1 pa rin yun. And then 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16. Kaya 1 over 16 yung ating values dito. Okay, next step. Divide both sides by 1 over 16. So, yung dito, makakancel na yung ating 1 over 16, tsaka 1 over 16, may iwan na lang ay a sub 1. And then, dito naman sa kabila, 6 divided by 1 over 16. Now, remember, pag tayo ay nag-divide ng whole number sa fraction, okay, what we need to do is to get the reciprocal of your denominator. So, kung 1 over 16 yan dito, ito magiging 16 over 1. Okay, so what we can do is to just multiply 6 times 16. Tapos ang denominator naman ng 6 natin ay 1 lang. So that's going to be 96 over 1. So our first term in this given problem is 96. I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwede namang ulitin at panoorin yung video. And don't forget, practice pag may time.